one of my favorite features is the ability to send out an email and include some voting buttons so I can get feedback from my coworkers. It's not a survey. It's basically an email where they have some buttons to make a selection. And a good example on when you might want to use something like that, well for fun, might be the company picnic. And you need to know who wants what kind of sandwich. You know, who wants beef sandwich, who wants chicken sandwich, and just who wants uh, veggie sandwiches. So you can create an email and you can customize the voting buttons to accommodate your needs or you can use the voting buttons that come with without look. So let's go ahead and do that. It's very simple. You can simply go to create a brand new email and you can do this before you fill it all out. It doesn't really matter. But right now you're going to go to the options tab in the ribbon and we have an area that says use voting button. So I'm going to click on that. We've got approve, reject, yes, no, yes, no, maybe. Or we can set up some custom buttons. So approve, reject, yes, no, yes, no, maybe. They're very business oriented buttons and will be appropriate for many uh, voting emails that you send out. But for our need for this demo, we're going to customize the button. So I'm going to go ahead and click custom takes us to this window and right now check the checkbox is checked that says use voting buttons and approve reject is automatically in there and all I have to do is backspace to get that out and add my own separating with a semicolon so we want to say beef sandwich semicolon chicken sandwich semicolon veggie sandwich and I'll say close I don't see much going on here there's nothing really telling me anything so all you do is address the email put in your subject put in the body and send it on its way so let's go ahead and do that and I would create the email something like this uh, sending it to people putting in the subject whoops and maybe a little uh, indication or a little instructions on what I want them to do and just so you can see how this works I've sent it to myself as well so as the recipient of this voting email it looks like this and I've got a little indicator right here vote by clicking vote in the respond group above I find that difficult for people to see for some reason when they get the email that's why I always include a little additional instructions in the body of the email notice on in the ribbon I've got a respond group and then I have a vote right here I can choose beef sandwich chicken sandwich or veggie sandwich. I'm going to go ahead and choose chicken sandwich and it's letting me know what I have responded. Send the response now or edit the response before sending. I'm just going to say send the response now. I'll say OK. And it's letting me know that I responded chicken sandwich. So I'm going to go ahead and close this and now as the person getting that response I see that somebody has voted that they want a chicken sandwich so that's really great and then you can go in as the person organizing the food for the company picnic you can tally you can go in and see how everybody's ordering and who has yet to order so you can bug them when the deadline comes around so let's go ahead and do that you need to go to your sent items folder and again this is you sending out the original voting email and you need to locate the email that you included the voting buttons with I see a little visual indicator that it's a little different from the other icons the other email icons that I sent out and you have to make sure that you see this indicator because when you open it up let me go ahead and open it up you now have a tracking area that you can um, display the tracking information about you know who's responded what who hasn't responded so let's click on the tracking area the tracking page 
and I can see that somebody has responded. I know what they've responded. I can see what time they responded. I can also see people have not responded. Um, what's really great about this is that I have a reply totals in here. So I can see how many chicken sandwiches to order, how many beef sandwiches to order, and how many veggie sandwiches to order. So that's really the beauty of the voting buttons. Now, again, it's 100% reliable in an Exchange server environment, and that's why I really only show it in my Exchange and Outlook videos. So this is kind of fun. This is a fun way to use it, but then if you need to, I'm going to go ahead and close that. If you need to send out an email uh, letting your people know that you've changed um, you've changed the uh, um, let's say uh, educational reimbursement program and you want to make sure that they get it and they they read it and they understand it you could send out the email and include an attachment to the new um, reimbursement policy and add some voting buttons that say yes I have read and understood the new policy or no I would like a an appointment with you or something along those lines I mean you can really set it up to accommodate various needs both uh, business and fun so yeah definitely use those voting buttons it's really fun